to Miss Lane. So I have been seeing a lot of like YouTube videos of people reviewing Timu and might as well get on the bandwagon, I guess. Um, my assumption is, I haven't opened the package yet. My assumption is that it's a, it's gotta be a fairly cheap, like quality of stuff and like, you know, not necessarily made well, much smaller than what um, the size looks like and everything um but i did the thing because first off like whenever i was with my friend raylene like she had a couple of things from timu and they seemed like good quality and they were car organizing stuff which is like right up my alley because i love organization stuff so long-winded way to say that we are going to be reviewing timu car organization stuff that's all Enjoy the next clips, I guess. Or don't. Here's my stabby knife for anyone who tries to jump into my car when I'm sitting in here. <laughs> so first off, I ordered, um... Uh, I ended up ordering 10 things, which were a total of like 40 bucks. And... It, for this small package, I am kind of wondering if they're all 10 in here. I don't really remember everything I ordered though, but this is what it's looking like so far. So, maybe it is all in here. So, this was one of the things that Raylene did actually have. It is, like, it goes on to this thing. And I already have one up there, but, like, it's gotten so stretched out that, like, a lot of the stuff that I was putting in there, like, would fall out. And, okay, let me actually just take this down. Okay, so you can tell that this pocket here is stretched out. And I like to keep, like, a flashlight in there just so, like, some of the stuff that you could potentially need in, like, an emergency or, you know, just for whatever I... Like, you'll have it at reach. I have this knife, like I said, up there. And I've got a flashlight up there. And then, um, I also like to keep, like, a chapstick in here. Or, in the summertime, I would put, like, a Kermix in here. But then the stuff kept falling out. You also have these little, like, pen or pencil holders. And, like, I like them because you could have a pen easy access. But when I would get in the car, they would clip onto my hair and get pulled out every single time. So I stopped putting them in there and then I couldn't keep any in here because this elastic got stretched out too far. So this one is just barely useful at this point. Like I could basically just keep my knife and my flashlight up there. I have to shove the flashlight way in there and then like the knife is big enough to where it stays. So. I definitely wanted to get a new one. So with this one, you've got, which this is very handy, it'll keep, like I have a little cubby here, um, which gets so full with stuff. If I put a paper in there, then I can't reach under it. So this will be helpful because you can put your sunglasses in here. Um, and then you could put chapsticks in this little thing here if you wanted, of course, cards. But what I really like, whenever she was showing me, is it's got this zip pouch. So like, your stuff's not gonna fall out and, you know, it can fit a decent amount of stuff in there, it looks like, so. But also, it's got a little pin holder here, but it's on the side, so I don't think, like, it would catch as easily as the other one. So, we'll try this out here in a minute. But I'm just going to put it up here for now. Okay, so let's put some shit in this mirror organizer thing. Okay, fucking maybe not. So apparently, um, you can only put really thin stuff in the zipper pocket. So it's going to be like papers and like thin pens. So I can't put my marker in there. So I guess that's gonna have to stay in my little cubby. And 
Yeah, yeah, let me try to put some Germix in there. Okay, and like, these are so small that you could literally only put something like a chapstick in there. Is my flashlight even gonna fit in here? <laughs> nope. <laughs> So I could see it working for someone who isn't like trying to get the most use out of it. Um, but like, I don't keep cards in my car. I don't like keep, like I wouldn't want to just put thin stuff in here. I guess that'll be helpful for like pens, but like I don't really keep papers in my car other than like, you know, my registration and stuff that's in my glove box. So, this is a little frustrating for me. So you'll essentially be seeing two um, reviews on some of these things. Because I kind of was, obviously, as you'll be able to tell, I'm waving this uh, antenna thing from my car around because I took it off. I may or may not have strapped a mattress to the roof of my car and uh, had to take this off so I didn't break it off. Anywho, I was grouchy that day, so... A lot of the reviews just kind of are, well, you'll see. I wanted to do an update after a couple of months of having this stuff, and I kind of rearranged a couple of things to, like, make it work better. So that's what you'll see in this. I ended up moving a lot of the stuff that was in my little middle cubby right here. I ended up moving to here. And then I moved my papers for my, like, registration and stuff from my glove box up to in here. So basically now in here, I've got a bunch of pens. I have uh, my little pressure gauge, um, my little counterfeit bill marker for uh, when I get stuff off of rummage set or sell stuff on rummage sites. And then I put, like, my insurance and registration up here. And then I think I'm going to end up getting like a little Blistex to keep in the car because uh, I recently found out that um, that doesn't melt as easily. So I might try keeping a Blistex in my car instead. This next item, I believe, is these pouches that go on the side of your seat. So that way you can keep extra, you know, just whatever you need in there. They're pretty decent size. And then you've got a little zipper pouch down here, or up here, I guess. Wait, which way does it go? Oh, this way. And then you've got two, like, little slight stretchy pockets that you could put stuff in. Um, I am probably going to be putting it on the inside of my seat. Anyways, I feel like if you put it on the outside, you're not really going to be able to do a whole lot with it. And you're probably going to forget it's there. But, like... Hmm. I'll have to come back to that because I'm going to have to look at the ad to see where that hooks on. But that's what it's looking like for now. Again, we'll come back to it. Okay, so I'm not feeling too hopeful for these side things because I don't think I have the bottom attachment that apparently some cars have. Um, I was right on that it goes up here over your seat. But like, there's supposed to be a thing down here on a lot of cars that like you can apparently flip this onto. I'm just trying to feel if there's anything I'd be able to hook this on. Not anything that I think it's gonna fucking stay on. The side seat thing seems like it's in decent enough condition. It was just user error on not doing enough research to make sure it would fit into my car. I believe this is the back of the seat. Maybe? Oh, no, um, this is the trunk organizer. So it looks like this, and then it's got, um, these little things that you can tighten it around the trunk of your car, so I'll put that on. So right now you can clearly see that, uh, I've got a lot of stuff in my trunk, so hopefully well, I'm going to take the 
I'm going to take the spare tire and the jack out, but everything else always stays in here. So let's see if we can get some of that organized with this right here. It's designed for a car that has like the seat back so it looks like closer together. Because this one, as you can see, it's like really tugging. It is nice that it has like the Velcro in the back so like it can go in there and the Velcro seems pretty strong. But like, I don't know. I kind of wish I'd gotten one maybe that had like bigger pockets because like a lot of the stuff that I would want to go in there would be like this tarp, which I don't think I can get fit in there. And like even my jumper cables just barely fit in there. So maybe for like small stuff it'd be fine, but I don't know. I guess I'm going to try to get the tarp in there and then we'll see. Yeah, um, it's probably just personal preference on this. Like it is a cheaper thing, but it, like it feels like it's going to be strong enough to hold some like lighter things, but I just don't like that the pockets are so fucking small. Like what the hell am I going to put in there? There's a couple of things that it's not really designed for my car. And the fact that mine has a shield, I guess, it's like a cover that goes over to keep your groceries from having sun beaming directly on them. Since I have that in my car, and I try to typically keep that in my car unless I'm like hauling something in my car, it kind of makes the organizer pointless. So I might just at some point get some baskets or something, some like thin baskets that I can just put some stuff in to keep it a little more organized. <laughs> So this one's a real necessity. Um, you guys have probably seen these, <laughs> but I don't know if you've ever been driving and you've got like some french fries with you and you, you gotta have your dipping sauce with your french fries, um, but like you'll set it in the dash while you're driving and like as safely as you can, because let's be honest, how safe can you really be if you're eating a hamburger and fries while you're driving? But I saw this. Thing that it just hooks into your your air vent and then you can put your sauce packet in there and then you can just one hand dip for the fries so it is on there it feels fairly secure but it's like you're not holding anything super heavy but you're gonna look like a real fatty whenever someone gets in your car and they're like oh what's that for oh it's for sauce cup sauce cup thing good so on the one organizer up here, there's the little sunglasses holder, but I sometimes will have my mom with me and like, and she'll freak out if she doesn't have sunglasses. So I always keep a pair in my car, but they've been known to get a little bit dirty because I put them in the cup, like the door cup holder. Um, so they've, they've had stuff spilled on them before. Uh, so I also picked up these little um, clips that you can again put on your your little uh, mirror things and hold your sunglasses. I'm going to show you where I ended up putting the glasses thing because basically I don't really have a space up here to put it because I can't put it on this side because it's got the little extendable uh, visor. Um, I can't really put it on any of the sides because it'll keep this from being able to be used. So I ended up putting it on this other side right here, right next to um, the little napkin thing. So uh, I, I actually just put that up there, so it's potentially not gonna work, but it's seeming like it's gonna be an okay spot to store my glasses. And the last thing that I got is a organizer that goes on your car seat, or car seat, that goes on the back of your seat and it just has a bunch of different pockets that you can put stuff in. Again, I actually do have one of these in my car, but I don't have one on both seats, so I figured I would try a new one to check the quality and everything like that. Okay, so I got it wrapped around the front. Um, I can't get it like super tight. But I don't think it would be that big of a deal if it moved around. It's definitely like a cheaper material, um, but it's like that thin like cloth bag material, but it's got a decent amount of pockets and I think it would at least hold out for um, 
holding some of your basic stuff in there. On the back of the seat thing, it, like, I'm thinking about doing maybe a video of me, like, fixing some of the things on these to make it to where I could use them in my car. But basically, the one that goes on the back of the seat, I put my Atlas in the little pocket that's attached to my actual seats, and then I put the, like, organizer over that. So, with the Atlas leaning up against the organizer, and this happened to the previous one, it basically, like, made too much pressure on the, the organizer, and it came loose. So, it's quote-unquote broken. It's, it's fixable, though. I think at some point I might attach a more heavy-duty strap to that, so that way I can... <laughs> Someone's walking by. I feel real uncomfortable now. Whew. But honestly, overall, and I, I gave it a very bad review in a lot of the previous footage. Overall, I think the stuff is pretty decent. So yeah, I'm going to change my review to it's decent enough. Like you have to do a little bit more research on if it's going to fit your car or, you know, um, if it's designed specifically even for it. Um, also, like, what kind of stuff will fit into said thing that you're looking at. So make sure you're really doing thorough research, which I didn't in this case. Um, but the quality, it's decent quality. It's not, like, the greatest quality. But it's also very cheap, so it's kind of, like, which battle you want to fight. Are you wanting something that's high quality and more expensive or are you wanting something that's cheaper and just gets the job done because if it's the latter then honestly Timu car organization stuff is probably good for you. I'm kind of on the fence but I am leaning a little more now towards it's decent enough. So yeah I'm gonna say that I I like Timu stuff. I'll probably end up doing another video of maybe another category of Timu but yeah, that's all I got for this video. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a thumbs down, subscribe if you want to. I'm trying to not be uncomfortable sitting in my neighborhood while cars are driving by. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.